from the Atlantic Health Training Center. This is Dexter Henry here for Backpack Broadcasting. Another beautiful day here in Florham Park, New Jersey as the Jets continue to practice during their 2011 training camp. The big news today from the Jets was the injury to Plaxico Burris' ankle, the continuing injury, and how it will affect him in the team's first game against the Houston Texans on Monday night. When I was saying um, Plaxico, or Plaxico, excuse me, um, would play, uh, we're not going to play him in the game, okay? And what we're going to do is, uh, and there, there's a couple of reasons. The, the number one reason is they, they think the altitude when you fly there, that that can increase swelling. Okay, that's what was explained to me. Uh, and with the docs and Melody and all them, they think it's best to, you know, we're trying to get Plaxico at 100%. And so what we'll, what we'll do is he'll come out Wednesday. We assume he will be 100% then if we back him off completely now. All right, guys, you heard from Rex Ryan. Now I'm joined again by my man Christian Dyer from Metro Sports New York to talk a little bit of Jets football. And Christian, we heard Rex talk about the injury to Plaxico versus ankle. He will not play Monday against Houston. What are your thoughts on this injury and how we have not been able to really see Plaxico play thus far in training camp? Well, I think it was a little bit of a surprise that Plax is going to be held out until Wednesday's camp. I think we all thought that there were going to be some bumps and bruises along the way, uh, you know, especially in terms of the fact that he hasn't played competitive football in two years. Uh, it, it, it is a little bit of a surprise that, you know, he has been held up with such a small injury. I thought that there might be some rust. We haven't even been able to tell if there's rust yet. Everything he's been doing has been so plebeian uh, in its form. So I think that it, it is cause for a concern that a guy who hasn't yet had contact yet is already having injury concerns. So if I'm the Jets, I would be a little bit worried about this. I mean, this is the guy who's going to help make your whole offense click. He's the possession type wide receiver. He's the red zone receiver that you need, that big body that Mark Sanchez can throw to. If he can't stay healthy, there may not be anyone else in the lineup that can duplicate what he does. Certainly not a Jeremy Curley, who, who's more of a, of a playmaker type. Uh, and certainly not a Scotty McKnight as well. You, you know, and you don't have that veteran guy like a Brad Smith that you could bring in or Jericho Cotri that you could rely on to play a similar role now. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see who steps up for this first preseason game and actually fills in for Plax and can play that role. It's not going to be a Patrick Turner type, I don't think. They're not ready quite yet. It's going to be interesting to see who steps up. As we all know, the preseason is a chance for younger players to showcase their ability. But as we get back to Plax, is it the right move by the Jets to sort of shut him down? Uh, Rex Ryan said he wants him to be 100% by Wednesday. Is that the right move, Christian? In terms of long term, I think absolutely. I think Jets fans are going to be disappointed. I think the Jets coaching staff is disappointed that they're not going to be able to see Plax in person. But you want him ready for week one. You don't need him ready for preseason week one. And Plax really is going to make this whole offense click, uh, at least on paper. So being able to get him ready, get him into the system, he's still going to learn an awful lot from the classroom time, the film time, the walkthroughs, the things that maybe he needs to get caught on a little bit more. Uh, the skills still seem to be there. We've seen that from the drills. He can still make those one hand to grabs he can get that kind of separation but what he really needs to do is be physically ready so might as well set him out this first preseason game or two if necessary get him ready for that final push so the Jets will look for Plax to be 100% Christian has been here last week also this week second week of Jets training camp Christian my last question for me is week two of Jets training camp what has impressed you in this week what have you seen what did you like or what didn't you also not like well, I like to see the development of Mark Sanchez, I think, both as a leader and on the field. There's a little bit of sharpness. It's always easier for the defense to be sharper than the offense at this point. But I think it was good to see that he was making his throws. He, he was, you know, making the correct reads. That was impressive to me. Uh, a, a name that's jumping out to me as someone to look forward to is Chris Bryan. I think here's a guy, he may be the team's punter, but he's got quite a leg. Uh, and I think under Mike Westhoff, he's excited to be playing. I had the opportunity to talk with him, and he's really excited about this opportunity. And Weatherford did a fantastic year last year for the Jets, not in terms of net punting, but overall in terms of his directional punting, setting an all-time NFL record with kicks inside the 20. It'll be interesting to see if Brian can do that same thing. He's got a much better leg than Weatherford, but if he can do that directional kicking, those are the kind of plays that win games. So that's something I'm going to be looking forward to seeing. Also, John Connor, I thought, has looked good in camp as well. He seems to thrive on being
being physical. We're looking to see if he can be that replacement for Tony Richardson. No one expects him to be the replacement in the locker room. Richardson being one of the class acts of the league and, and a real voice in the locker room. But I think John Connor as well is going to be someone to watch. And then my final person that I've been impressed with has been Jamal Westerman. You know, the Rutgers graduate has, has really stepped up, done well, I think. He looks like he's coming in nicely off that edge. He's going to be that pass rusher. Whether he plays on the outside in the 3-4 or as the outside linebacker, I'm not sure. But I think it's going to, it's been an impressive trade camp for him so far he's taken that next step let's see if he can do it in a game he got rave reviews two years ago as a rookie never really put it together outside of special teams play last year kind of got stuck behind Vernon Golston uh, in what was seen as a political move I think and and now I think it's his opportunity to step up he's gotten good reviews rave reviews and so I'm looking forward to seeing what Jamal Westerman can do on Monday night well this is what the Jets fans want to hear they want to know who's showing up to training camp who's actually putting on good performances and what they can look for Monday night preseason game against the Houston Texans for the Jets, their preseason opener. Christian Dyer, Metro Sports New York, always on top of his game covering the Jets. I'm Dexter Henry for Backpack Broadcasting. Until next time, we'll see you guys with the Jets training camp report.